Welcome to the GW YouTube channel. We've got an extra special broadcast for you today. It's the next match in the GW in-house tournament. This is a squad rush fives tournament, uh, hardcore. And we've got two very uh, big teams against each other today. We have Team Muggy versus Team Perv. Although you may notice we are lacking the presence of Mr. Pervis Shorts tonight due to personal issues. Um, but we luckily have Mr. Rashid Rio, a new GW member, filling in his slot. And we've got nonetheless than Tom Bailey taking up the leadership role. It's a really, uh, really big match tonight. Should be really uh, tight. We've got three maps for you. We've got Argon, Armians, and I'm not going to even attempt to pronounce the name, but Sotsarian or however you might want to say it. Um, and yeah, we're about to get underway shortly. Uh, this is Carol 7 We have two commentators with us tonight. That is Harvey Tyler and Benson Fellow. Would you like to say hello, guys? Hi, guys. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, that's good, good, good to be here. <laughs> yeah, should be a very interesting match today. And yeah, uh, anyway, I'm about to send the go order. We may as well get this underway. We've got a tight time schedule, and uh, and here we go. I've sent the go order. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it should be a good one, this, guys. I'm quite looking forward to it, to be honest. Need a bit of a clash of the titans between the potentially two of the biggest teams here. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's a bit of a shame that we haven't actually got uh, Purvis, Purvis shots in it. It was quite yeah, funny, a bit of banter that they had earlier. <laughs> exactly, he was bigging himself up as usual. but He was, yeah, as usual, yeah. He was unable to attend. And the teams have uh, set off here, um, both uh, got equal spawns, which is good to see. They both received the message at the same time and we're straight on to Alpha. And uh, I will leave the commentary up to you guys for now and I'll be back later. No problem, thank you, Gallup. Well, they're all over Alpha at the moment, uh, both teams. Might spread out actually, seeing that. Yeah, it's interesting is the uh, Team Muggy has sent four people to Alpha and left Factory alone over here on Bravo to try and scope things out. Yeah. He was making a bit of a nuisance of himself. I think he was just caught at the back end of uh, Tom Bailey there. He's going yeah. in to Bravo, slowly but surely. There's no one here defending it. Yeah, we've got, uh, we've got trees up the top that are burn trees daily. He's got an eye on him. Um, they've, <clears throat> they've actually managed to get Alpha come on. Armed in there, Muggy's in there as well in the uh, in the bunker. Yeah, but here they come in. They try and push in Tom Bailey and Rossi Rio. Oh, smoke everywhere. This is going to be a bit of an awkward one. What's going on inside? Can't quite make out. Oh. I think Muggy's uh, dealt with Rashid. Tom Bailey's coming in now. Can you see him? Muggy's dealt out. with him. Oh, quality. I think this is it. Alpha to team Muggy. Yeah. Over here Good on the job, Bravo guys. as well, it's being armed. You see Alex is defending it by himself as of now. One man army here. Being Guess backed up by those battery. Rashid coming around the side of him. Meeting him head on, Rashid deals with battery. And we get the diffuse off the question. Now Alex like Boone Tree's going, going for in it. for it. Oh, oh no. Just a little bit too late there. Oh, looks a bit. Yeah. Oh, there you go. The first two round, uh, two comms in the first round of this map. The Muggy, Team Muggy. Exactly. I would take him fairly quickly, as you see, we saw last time Team Perv uh, were only held to one com when they were attacking. Yeah. We never actually saw first the second phase of Argon. So I wonder if we'll see it here this time. Yeah, these uh, both teams are quite equally matched, to be fair, right? Obviously, Team Muggy just doing the deed at the moment, though. Yeah, but Team Perv seems to have a good defense, although it looked like, yeah. Battery dealing with a little bill there on top of the brow coming over towards Bravo. It does also look like the there. position has changed since last week. I don't know if you noticed that. Last week it was um, no. oh, yeah, it was it was down a... in the trench. So I wonder yeah. how these new yeah, dynamics are going to affect it, really. Interesting. But B is getting on. Yeah, tucked away inside there. Be quite awkward. 
There you go, see my dude with the, as you say, with the arm. With shoot coming in, he was doing a bit of damage, but uh, Muggy deals with him. Just scoping out, can't actually see oh, no, a, a little bit bird here. Yeah, they blue on blue. Just did the right thing though and picked him back up though. Someone has. Kalex blue or someone. Muggy and Kalex right next to each other. What's going on here? Muggy deals with Kalex. And it's like Bone Trees Daily is going round the back. But it's too late. Doing a bit of sneaky, sneaky manoeuvres. So yeah, as you say, it's quite an awkward one really being inside there. Just trying to get my camera in there, see if we can get a bit of a scope in. Tom dealing some damage here with a triple kill. Muggy, PB, and then Alex. Yeah, it looks like this is going to be a defuse. Oh, couple of rounds being Team Muggy, that was the team wipe there. Yeah, quality bit of play. Nice defuse. There we go. A bit unfortunate to be wiped there, but the way it goes, I suppose. Team Perry style just needs to uh, push out a little bit, get a bit of a forward line, wouldn't you say? Team Muggy pushing in. Looks like they are going to get the arm right here. Muggy straight in there, as you say. Quality. Front line. DB outside. Tom's in there. Tom being taken out by Muggy. Muggy with the double kill. Triple kill even. Yeah, he's gonna get picked up. Look at the kill feed, it's almost all blue. Yeah, almost a bit of a blue on blue, but they spotted him coming around the back of them, that's the issue. Couldn't lie, Marvin and Tom Bailey's coming in. It's taken out by Tom Bailey from Lime Robin. Those lads need to, uh, oh, another blue on blue there. Blue and Trees Bailey and uh, Little Bill. Also, Calix taking out Little Bill with, uh, with a dynamite. Trying to get that door open. Bit of a bugger, yeah. but these things happen, that I suppose. The problem with hardcore, and a lot of these players don't play hardcore that much. Like. Received Rio brought in at the last minute. I don't know if he's had much experience playing hardcore on that mm -hmm. like show today. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's all an experience as well. It's, at the end of the day, a bit of practice in there. Yeah, exactly. DB with a pickup on Alex there, keeping him going. So we push over to the third round of comms here. Alpha underneath the train tracks, Bravo over by the far end. It'd be quite a difficult um, com to take the Bravo one. Uh, I've yeah, noticed in the past because you know, it's well. quite elevated as well, though. I know it's, as you say, tucked away, but yeah, it's, yeah, it's, 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 you can only really attack it from two main channels unless you get a flank behind. That's that's the problem. And yeah, yeah it's, it's hard. You can easily get shot off when defusing if they've got good defensive positions. Yeah, definitely. I mean, even someone with a good uh, good arm on a with a burner get it straight on there from quite from quite a distance away. Well, yeah, team Perth got PB now on Alpha. Tom Bailey taking his tags though. Mugiwara coming in. Tom Bailey deals with him pretty swiftly. But just take a look at Bravo right now. That tree's coming up unaware. Yeah, definitely. We've got them all there now. Alex, PV, frontline, Thatchery at the top. Come on, help but think a bit of smoke there. Yeah, a bit of smoke's been pumped. Someone get in there. Nice, Thatchery's in on the arm. Tom Bailey coming up to uh, do a bit of damage. Taking out PB on his way. Just more tags? No. Tom gets taken out just before he takes out Thatchery. Say more blue on blue there. Frontline Morgan taking out Alex with a AT grenade. Yeah. <clears throat> the 
shame. Doing trees is just on his own, but he's doing a great job. He really needs to get up there and try and get that defuse. He's on it. Can he get it in time? He, he has. And he's also picked up Tom as well. Quality bit of play. There you go. Yeah. Nice little triple kill. Just had to get in there and do something about it, didn't he? They've yeah, left Alpha for a little be... bit. Switch over to Alpha. They're a little bit unguarded. Rashid's coming in. He hasn't spotted Muggy there running around him. Although Tom Bailey did. Slotted him. Good defence. Tom eventually being taken out by Alex. Alex with a double kill. PV with a double kill as well. Rashid's right next to the com. He wants to watch himself. Yeah, PB was on him. Team Perv here coming in, uh, Team Muggy coming in in force. PB with the arm, good man. B's completely open. See so yourself in this situation, you know, would it be worth risking a man just to get over towards B? Knowing full well that you've pulled quite a few of the enemy over. Mm. Yeah, it is, it is quite a good idea really, it will shift the focus. It's Defending team will definitely panic as well. Yeah. If if both of them start to get armed, they'll risk getting pushed back to the next section. Yeah, I suppose you're always going to risk um, a great AT rocket there by frontline mobbing. And there you go. There's another com gone. Great work here by Team Muggy. Doing quite a, quite a fan of pumping a bit of smoke in. As you say, it causes a bit of a causes a bit of a worry as well for the other team, thinking, you know, where are they coming from? Tom Bailey's still doing a great action. job there. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Calix with a trip line, a uh, trip line. I think it's Inferno one, is it? On TV. Maybe, but that is a team wipe for Team Perv now. They're gonna have to come in from the deployment. Someone needs to get in there and get that on. Oh, take a blue on blue again though. BB in factory. Took a long time to try and get that on. I suppose, you know, you've got to... It's a fine line between trying to make sure that there's no enemies there and, uh, and just pushing it, I suppose. Mm, but they probably should have been calling out their numbers or checking the scoreboard. They would have noticed yeah. it was a team wipe. Yeah, definitely. Rashid's with the defuse here, I don't think he's going to have any problems. No, he hasn't. Yeah, very good job Team Perv did there of clearing them off of Bravo. Absolutely. Uh, defensive perimeter again. Absolutely, a bit of dynamite being placed here by Calix. Beautiful little idea. And he's going to sit away now. Little Bill got a defensive position on the back. Tom Bailey just quite close to Bravo. Calix is pushed up into a far left corner, just keeping an eye out. I reckon he'll be silent here until they come in. I'm wrong, he takes out Alex. <clears throat> Taking out PB as well, good double kill. Great little position there for Calix. Yeah, I'm sure just spawning in on him. If they continue to defend like this, this could be the end of the round here. I know Definitely. Perv will be on the offence. Yep, how many tickets are you on? We're on 10 tickets left. Good kill there by Alex, the one we shoot. Both his head round the corner. Alex popped him off. Muggy, good kill. In line as well. Oh, Muggy being taken out by Lil Bill. Great little position by Lil Bill here, sat. Sat in the little uh, hut there behind Bravo. He's on the run, PB's onto him. Factory as well. Just following him down. What's going on? Some, ooh, I think he was going through his tags there. But little yeah. Bill dealt with his uh, Thatchery's plan. Yeah, Maguire is on the arm. Tom is getting armed right now. So. Burnt trees, Calix, Tom Bailey all coming down from above. Maguire is behind Calix. He hasn't spotted him. Deals with Calix. 
burnt trees picking up Tom Bailey. PB dealing with Tom Bailey with his uh, sawtooth blade, I believe it is. More tags yeah, being taken. Mugiwara doing a great job. Pumped a couple of rounds at his teammates there, but what happens when you got itchy trigger fingers? And uh, obviously Team Purvis with Purvis uh, picking, picking his boys up before the round, before the game. So, there you go. Fourth set of comms now then. Mm, exactly. Making the score, is it 6 0 now? Uh, yeah, six points to uh, Team Muggy. Obviously, none to uh, Team Burvis just yet. As you've seen before, though, Team Purvis have they've come in and done a great job. Sometimes of uh, you know when they've been wiped off a off a com, and Team Muggy have actually got the com armed. They've done a great job a couple of times now, coming in, wiping uh, Team Muggy out, getting it defused. Yeah. A bit of play. Looks like uh, Team Muggy are pushing out onto Alpha at the moment. Tom Bailey being taken out by Muggy. Securing yeah, that. Amazing, they should, they should be sending someone in there, I think. Mm. All of them are going round. Why? Why? No one's there. It'd be a shame. Obviously, a tactical play. Muggy Wara leading the front of these lads now. That tree in tow. As well as uh, Alex and frontline mobbing. Muggy's up on his own going towards Bravo. That must have been the tactical decision to take Bravo first, maybe then, is it? Probably the harder yeah, com. I believe so. Mushu doing a good job there, knocking back Alex. He's on his own though, I fear uh, if he doesn't sit tight and try and be a silent spawn, like, he's going to get picked off quite easily. Frontline mobbing's got a great little position here. Spotted him. PB there doing a, I think it was a Muggy, Muggy Rara actually, doing a great job of covering frontline mobbing's back. The shoot's in. Is he? No, he's on the outside still, sorry. He's on the outside, but I think they know that he's there. Here he's yeah, Muggy Rara dealing with him. But that's all she wrote. Calic's been taken out there by Alex. That's all she wrote for that one. Great bit of tactical play though. Straight round, they run straight past Alpha. Hey guys, I'm back. Hey. How's, How's it going? going? Yeah, going well. Great bit of uh, great bit of play going on at the moment, like. Yeah. I was just uh, I was just thinking about how uh, interesting this match is because both teams have had a player come in who is not part of the original lineup, mm -hmm. um, and I'm sure it's. Uh, it's interesting to see that it probably changes the dynamic of each, uh, of each team, especially with missing Perv. You know, he's quite an yeah, influential, player, influ influential player within a squad, and you know, he often brings up morale, his kills, keep people going. Um, the same, mm -hmm. you know, same, for, uh, same for Team Muggy losing Devil Dev, a wise player, a proper OG of GW. He's got really good tactical smarts, and, uh, and they might be missing that aspect as well. You know, it's interesting yeah. to see what happens. Mm. Well, I totally agree there. <clears throat> yeah, and while she said that, uh, Rasud Rio just uh, taking PB's tags. No, I was yeah, gonna, yeah, yeah. I was gonna mention that. <laughs> I do think a little it's bit, uh... like, a little bit of a great little position. Oh, Muggy is getting the plan off there. Yeah. He's not spotted that. Oh, he Ooh. did in the end. Just, just not a bit too late though. Yeah, yeah. But my mob in factory, PB, Alex, all spawned in. Tom's got his head down, he should be able to get the arm, uh, defuse. Oh, great grenade there. By PB, uh, by frontline. Oh, no, actually, he's a blue on blue thing, right? Rashid's still there by the train, actually. he's jumping on. Mobbin's getting, he's stuck under the tree by looks. Yeah, he's stuck. What is going on? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. He got out, is he going to take out Rio? He's not, he's stuck again, I believe. <laughs> he's yes. running. Uh, oh, wow. He's, he's giving it toes. What the hell is that? Oh, look at that spawn up. This is interesting. Oh, lucky. Tom Bailey there with a good kill. Getting taken out by Muggy though. Callie and Little Bill holding it down. Burn Tree's coming in to reinforce. 
This is yeah. tight gameplay on Alpha Point here. This is uh, this is neck and neck by the looks of things. A little little Bill still sat yeah. up in his little position. It's been, it quality has been that. neck and neck the whole time, but he might have just a lot come out of smoking on top. Only ten tickets left most of the time. I think as well though. Again, there's some. I think we made this note in the last last few games is that defense as a team of five on such large maps uh, is is far more difficult than you know attacking. You can, um, and it'd be interesting to see if Tom Bailey's team on the uh, on the attacking side does a similar sort of movement. If you know what I mean, they're not. Yeah. It, you know, to spread out across these two comms especially is, with a five is really with really a five hard. man. Yeah, it's yeah. really difficult. <clears throat> See why you've gone. I mean, I don't know if you um, if you caught the play, but uh, Mugiwara actually got the lads to run straight past Alpha, coming around the back of um, Bravo Com, which was really you know really effectively for them. Mm -hmm. They've just uh, wiped. That was Mugiwara with four kills uh, in a row there. That was that was unbelievable. Uh, he's just wiped out that team. And he yeah, gets a fifth. And a... Look at that. Look at the kill feed. Yeah, there. still. Oh dear! It really is a beat, power player It's a beast right that uh, that automatic um, uh, medical uh, weapon, that rifle. Yeah. I, think, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, Automat is it? Or Fedorov. Oh, Fedorov. Yeah, no, a wicked weapon. Well, yeah, he's a, just looking I mean? at uh, just looking at Muggy's score. He's on forty-eight. I was going to say that. that Fourteen. Is yeah, fantastic. Wow. I mean. Burn trees on the other team still 21 for 18. But they're, they're Tom 22 for 21. They're running a thin line KD wise. Not that that matters, but it just it just goes to show. Uh, Muggy here is really really feeling it, and he has been confident yeah. in, uh, in the yeah, chat. I think, I think he's he's gonna. To, um, I think we've got to uh, thank Burvis for that one. Really, Burvis shots winding Muggy up so much beforehand. Yeah. <laughs> And so this we're on to the next set of comms now. Fifth, and, uh, what, what, fifth set of comms, what, yeah. Yeah, I believe this is the, the last set, isn't it? This yeah, is this the last is... set, yeah. And what are the points up to now, uh, Ben? Uh, uh, that's system. that's eight to Team Muggy on this on this first round of this right, on okay. their attacking spree. Nice. Exactly. Already They're straight into Bravo. Mm. Yeah, pretty rapid in there. Ooh. We're getting wiped out though. Yeah, he's, like he's still floating about. Now. He's slipping in a sliding. He's not with him. Shoot, he's straight in there. Picked up Alex. Alex <laughs> on the on the arm. Oh dear. Yeah, he is dirty right now. He's going 52 for 15. <laughs> I know uh, Tim Purvis will be. His name will be Mud now, buggy. He's well, you know, uh, you know, you know, Purvis's kickback will be a while. I wasn't there. Yeah, well, that'll always be it, won't it? Yeah. <laughs> With Shu, dude, in a good position. Can't help but think that he should have pop probably popped off a grenade. I don't know if that burner was his grenade or not, but... And again, you know, we're, we're seeing, you know, Tom's had to take a leadership role as where Muggy's team, Muggy's still been able to continue on as leader. And it's a shame that we've had to have substitutions, but, um, yeah. you know, the game the game must go on, in my opinion. We have to carry on. Oh, yeah, definitely. This, can't be delaying this and forever and ever. No, exactly. And as you say, you know, it obviously uh, adds a, a, a new kind of dynamic to uh, both teams, really, as well. And that's a wipe from uh, from Tom Bailey's yeah. team there. Team Purvis, they they can uh, they need Green to get a good a stronghold now. Yeah, it's good. good Twenty nine tickets. If they can just them up. stop Moggy by one point here. That's still going to come in big. Mm -hmm. Standings. Definitely. They've got good positioning. Pretty centered around the com. He's on the left. A little bill. Oh, gets taken out. Nine. Damn, neck and neck. PB and Alex here. PB has got, got an eye on burnt trees, but he's uh, just had to back off to reload. Now, PB off well. and Alex pushing in now. Opposite directions, Tom Bailey dealing with the... Uh... Oh no, he hasn't caught him. Alex is still kicking. Burnt trees eventually deals with him though. That tree's in on the comp. Oh, not Callie. anymore though, Cali. Shovel. Alex with the shovel to nice. his head. I like it. I'm sure you do, Harvey. Staple <laughs> melee. 
user. Exactly. I think I think the the melee, melee strategy in hardcore is rather underrated because <laughs> one hit melee with any any weapon. Well, no, yeah. Oh. Yeah, definitely. Like now this little PB is just sat here waiting for the lads to spawn in on him. Yeah. I think Tom's really good. Like a little that. eye. Here we go. Muggy's in. He hasn't seen burnt trees. He deals with burnt trees though. Coming up. Can't take him out in the end though. Frontline mobbing's after his tags. Looks like it anyway. Oh, and that happened. Gets the saved him. Cali yeah, gets, uh, gets <laughs> payback. Jesus. Exactly. And then Mugiwara gets revived. So they're all here in the comp. Here we go. We've got Lil Bill has got a good spawn tree. beacon right on top, and I'm sure he's got his eyes on the com. He needs to get shooting. Is anyone tree planting? He's on him? the arm, is he? No, he's not. It's going to get around that corner. Yeah. Lil Bill's still up on the church. No one spots him. And they can spawn in. Nice. Shoot. Shoot's in. Backed up by Tom Bailey as well, though. Just yeah, as it's much it's as. Uh, still sat there. These guys are both spawn spawn beaconing each other at the minute. They haven't spotted little Bill on top. They haven't spotted Evie down mobbing. by the rock. Popping a couple of grenades in there. He doesn't actually know it's clear at the moment. Probably risk it for a biscuit. Try and get in there. <laughs> <sighs> Damn, front lines come from behind. He's uh they might be in trouble here. Little Bill needs to keep his eyes Great. on the car. That, that tree's gonna get the arm here. It's got to. Little Bill's got little to keep Bill's his eyes on the It's working, Little Bill's been He's spotted got it. as well, it looks like. He's uh, got it, Little Bill's you know. been dealt with as well. 14 tickets. Exactly. Close. Yeah. Team Perv gonna have to run from the spawn now. Yeah, this is gonna be difficult. We're gonna get a spawn hit. Oh, Muggy taken out. And they move in. This is tough. They're all bunched up in this one yeah, sector. They're bunched up, one big grenade. Oh, here we go. Get in there. Gone. The bit of smoke. gets past, yeah. burn trees gets past. Push it in. Get under and then, come on guys. Just that tree and PB defending. It seems like it might it. be too might late, they think on. it's too late. Just run straight past that Please. tree. Tom, Rashid. Oh, oh wow. there you go. I'm so lucky. that's a full, full 10 points from Team Muggy through that uh, round. The attacking team. Already what a fantastic game that was. Carrot got, isn't it? So. That's, that is very much correct. And, We've uh, got a lot of catch up to do. We do. We very much do. Hopefully, we'll have two games pretty close to each other, and we can uh, we can rake in some points against uh, both Team Marmots and probably Team Muggy. Yeah, oh, that's we'll right. That's right. Actually, yeah. So I'm I'm part of Team Marmots, and uh, I'm sat commentating with the, the the opposition of when our game comes up. <laughs> <laughs> this should be quite wow. interesting, gentlemen. It should. I'm just looking at the scores here. The score exactly. Oh, Fifty twenty six. Nice. He's been Mobbing killing it. 56 21. Frontline <laughs> mobbing 30 for 19 as well. Some wow. strong scores. Mm. Strong um, scores in the other team. As you say, though, uh, as you were saying before, a fine line between KDs. There's still kills. They're still, they're still pulling in the kills. You know, they got three players up in the 30s, and that's important. But it is, it yeah, is when definitely. they're dying, you know. And uh, again, though, it, this is the defense, mm. and it's, we're really early yeah. on here. Tom, also, Tom goes to show how. How uh, sorry, it's just right. to show how the hardcore use or hardcore experience really affects us. Rio, who is a great core player, only managed mm. to go in 17 for 30. Obviously, he's, this is his first time playing hardcore, and he must have obviously been struggling here. So it's Definitely, yeah. like Neil Bill, the... more experienced in hardcore, so. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's not the easiest game mode to go into, especially if you, you know, you could at least try pubs first, but you know, you're jumping into a competitive game here with some pretty well experienced hardcore players but you yeah. know it's, it's early on and you know we've seen players come in from a core thing play competitively and as the game goes on they've really warmed into it so um mm. and same goes for that tree as well in uh, muggy's team i don't believe that tree is, is really a hardcore player um so it'll be interesting to see how he how he's adapted to it as well he seems to be enjoying it and I hope the guys are enjoying great, it down there great bit of play there by team uh in the arm on bravo already there we Great. go, Rio's on it. Good stuff. Burnt trees dealing triple kill wow. there. That tree first wow. muggy that tree. That was impressive. They need to uh they need to spread out a bit here though. They're looking a bit bunched up around Bravo. They need to start making getting, getting distracted. It's interesting, they've done the opposite of what Team Muggy did, where Team Muggy sent yeah. all the people to Alpha. Where it's to go for Bravo thinking Muggy yeah. might be weak here. 
And the problem is with fives, when you're down to one karma, it gets a whole lot more difficult because, you know, there's no there's no split between the two karmas. No they have to, uh, yeah. yeah. There's no hidey holes or anything that you've got to either get but, in there and do it or not. Still positive though, it's good. And they've got um, Little Bill is taking a left flank approach. Um, but he's, I think he's acting as a spawn here, maybe. Yeah, here we go. Little Bill and Tom have made a nice left flank. And uh, that sh this sh might work in their favour, hopefully. That's a good first calm anyway. Rather quick as well, as you say, in, um, in the first round. Oh, had Rio two, like, taking attacking. himself out with a limpet there. Oh, yeah. oh. PB and Bill. Sniper's on the ridge. Who's going to get the tags? Little Bill gets the tags. Sniper on sniper. Yeah, nice. Chip, chop, chop. What's right that there. bell hook as well, it seems? That's going to be a good spawn for those guys now. Tom's allowed to move down into the valley towards Alpha. And uh, Muggy's team are pushed up in the... You see where they're pushed up? They're not really near the comm. Yeah, I think that's going to be their downfall on this comm, to be honest. Yeah. Tom Bailey's in. The shoot's running away. Spin around, mate. Get some rounds down there. Yeah. I imagine Muggy will, be, uh, Muggy will be loud in, the, in that group chat nowadays. Bang, bang, bang. Muggy's Point. dealt with him, slipping and sliding. And Bill and PB are fighting again, this time PB. Taking Bill out, yeah. so Muggy now has to reach. Ooh, Muggy's coming through, they're starting to swarm. This might be a diffuse what a, here. What a great play, bit of play there. Yeah, He's probably gone in. Good. You see time and time again that lads, you know, Especially in uh, games that I've played with other platoons, um, gone in and there's three, four, you know, five of you. You know, when you're in a big game of rush, and you're all on one comp, and that's just a, it's just a no-no really, because it only takes one grenade, doesn't it? I suppose to take you all out. Mm, mm, definitely. I mean, that was a good approach by then. by. Uh, it was a good approach by Team Purvis then. In all honesty, mm, but the, the the response, while I thought was not going to be great, uh, was really good for Muggy's team. Uh, they came in. Out. Again, Tom Bailey up on that ridge though, and that ridge is really good for attacking. I think as a defensive player, you need to be up there. And, uh, yeah. I think they're gonna get they're gonna get a chance to go in for the arm here. They're gonna get a chance to get another arm off. Who shoots in? Tom's got a good view over him, but they've uh, popped a bit of smoke there just to cover that point. There we go. Battery's running in. He's not seen Tom. Tom's missed him. He's dealt with Muggy though. Machines to take it out. He got sandwiched then. Tom's coming in. Oh, CB and Flattery dealing with both of them. It's going to be another disarm. If anyone took it, they've got plenty of players down to do a bit of damage. Definitely. Probably about four players, roughly. If they play it right. They need to move as a group. Very important. Cali got Definitely. some good kills. Oh, Rashid with the uh, team kill. There you go, there's the hardcore and experience. That's the hardcore, today. yeah. Yeah, definitely. Little Bill, a bit unfortunate there to be taken out by PB, but... Um, I know it very well, to be fair. I, uh, Sandman and Amort got me a few times in the last game. Yeah, also, Amort <laughs> managing to take out four players of the five with the 80 rocket. Yeah. At one point. Was, oh, uh, I saw that, yeah. That's heavy. Yeah, that was a hell of a, um, a boo-boo. Yeah. It happens though, you've got to carry was, on. I believe it was yourself, wasn't it? Uh, that Carol like, was going in for the defuse as well? Or... I was, yes. I was. Yeah. I was nearly yeah. crying. But, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but as you say, these things happen, you know. Uh, yeah. Muggy with the triple kill here. Oh, with the quad kill, actually. Almost, yeah. Damn it, man. This guy just loves hardcore, you know. The guy's difficult on core, but, you know, when, he, when the time to kill is lessened by how much it is in hardcore. He just has a field day with it, absolutely every time. Uh, I don't know. He, um, I end up trying. Uh, I'm not trying to eat his lead. I end up eating his lead when he uh, slides around the corner and slots me right in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Which happens quite a lot, actually. To be fair, when I'm against Snuggy. Mm -mm. You see, Tom Bailey here keeps doing the really mm. nice flanks around the left. He's always on it, and I really like it. I just wish he was getting grouped up more. He's yeah. He's up against well, even, four of them here. Even getting there and maybe being a bit of a silent spawn. His grenades landing all yeah. around him. He's at. He's at. He's having out. a difficult time, but he's on his own, you know, and he's causing he trouble. But he's mind. holding it own. He's, he's got two he's kills. Doing a good he's, job. Yeah. Here, here it comes. Coming round for him. Oh, Muggy's just slipping, sliding now, around the corner. Now the Although now that, the other team's distracted. They need to move in yeah. as quick as possible. Yeah, definitely. Rashid's in for the arm. They've pushed stuff. them off. 
They're in a way of the He's not turning around, he's not watching the door bong. like. He's got the arm. Four tickets Bing there. Bing bong Bit of smoke, oh, yeah. Muggy. Muggy. He's been oh, dealt with Tom. by Tom. Tom's taken, uh, taken out by Alex though. Rush shoot, last one in. Three tickets, they need this comm right now. Chop, oh, chop, chop. Oh, I thought there was some tags going to be taken then. PB with a oh. defuse again. The last push now. Two tickets left, yep. Yeah. Great, great bit of positioning, but the front line's not been spotted oh, yet. Four, oh, four, four down. Bit of shovel, be it. Bit of shovel as well. Damn. Can they Come get on, guys. Here we, here we go. go. Here we go. Straight in there. Straight in there. Come on. Callie's going in. Let's get it spread set up, guys. guys. Don't spread yeah. out. Come on. Don't be oh, in that look, bunker. Look. Oh, oh my one. fucking god. Did you see spread that? Out, <laughs> Two that tickets unreal. left. Oh my fucking god. Come on, guys. Come on. I want to see Tom, this game carry on. Battery. Oh, no. Battery's dealt with him. What about Charlie? Charlie's back there. He needs to get in there and try and help. Come on. He's got the dynamite. Oh, he's got the dynamite kill. Oh. He's in. Come on, Callie. Bo, 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 yes. Come on, Callie. Come on, Callie. Come on, Callie. Come on, Callie. No. Oh, that was the DG. Oh, Can they get in there? Can they get in there? A little bit, a little bit. Oh, that was a hell of a play. It was a good play. You wow, see how even play, even was, down boy. to the last two tickets, they didn't give up. They pushed. Yeah. You know, they fucking pushed. That was amazing. That was a, that was a brilliant <laughs> bit of play there from the attackers. They <laughs> to the very end. Mm. And, and it's good yeah, to see, and it's, 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 a, well. it's a real shame. Uh, Muggy's team, they're really strong on the defense still, and um, hopefully uh, hopefully Tom uh, Tom Bailey's team the morale isn't too down now. They need to carry on, they need to keep positive. Um, and we're on to the next map now, which is Armians. So you're looking at, the, looking at the kills there. Everyone's done quite well, but obviously nowhere near as, uh, as what Team Muggy had done, especially Muggy himself in the first round. Mm-hmm. And uh, so the scores are as ten to one so far, I believe. So That's it. Team. Yeah. Ten to one. And just to uh, update the viewers on the uh, the scores before this match, without the current uh, added points, just so everyone knows what um what the standings were. I'm just going to get these up now. For some reason my Discord isn't loading. I believe um. I think it was, are... Have you got it there? Team Muggy on 28, I think it was. Uh, 23? I think it's 24, but oh. I'm not too sure. One sec. And then, uh, I know Team, uh, team uh, I was in Team Armets, uh, I was 11, 11 points. Yeah, 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 Team Muggy was on 23, Team Marmots and Team Perv are both on 11, and Team Carrot yeah. on 7 points. 7, that's correct, yeah, that's correct. Well, I mean, Team Muggy's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, 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 very, I know that we're on seven, I'll tell you that, but yeah, it's, um, yeah, yeah, it's fucking difficult, uh, but yeah, we, we got a chance to bring some points back, I reckon, in the next few games for Team Carrot, hopefully we can give Marmots a run for their bloody money, see what happens. Yeah. Exactly, get some more it's points on the board, that's what matters. It's team Muggy oh. now on 33 points, so. Yeah, yeah they've well, really pushed push themselves forward there, aren't they? Now we all know how difficult Armians can be. I either find it's a stalemate, or you're going all the way to the end. Boy, yeah. Yeah. See, these two first comms, uh, they can they can be quite difficult, especially this one um, tucked away in the, in the station signal mm. box. Yeah. I found myself the easiest way is um, open it up with a couple of limpets. Get a good viewpoint in there. Obviously not attacking, uh, defending. If you all get wiped out, then you can blow up and actually you can see in there. <clears throat> good viewpoints and stuff. Fetch you the solo arm on Bravo. Yeah, took out a little bill. Ninjaed it. Shoots that Tom Bailey also. Rashid gets a kill. DB takes him out, to Tom Bailey on it. Now he can Muggy's get the arm off. Alpha. Frontline mob oh, in the muggy, all over Alpha. They've got the arm on. Difficult here. 
It needs to spread out now to uh, back to Alpha. This is what you're saying about the five-man team, you know, you can't try and put all your eggs in the same basket, but sometimes you, you find yourself to. in that position, don't you? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, there's not much you can do. But, yeah, they're looking pretty strong. Ooh, PB with a uh, double kill there. He's using the experimental, I think, which is why he's got a high rate of fire. It's a powerful weapon on hardcore. Yeah, look. That's the way to go for a scout, in my opinion. Look at that. Four kills in a row from PB. Damn. Bish, bash, bosh. Wow. Nice <laughs> PB's going to be loving that. <laughs> Anyhow, guys, I have got a football match to go back to. I will be joining you in 40 minutes or so. Yeah, carry on. Okay, no problem. Enjoy. We'll uh, keep watching this. Mm, people Progress. Out more people with that experimental. Very interesting, the guns that we see in hardcore. A lot of guns that aren't even core. Cool. Yeah, a lot more variations. using the USMG from the Russian DLC, which I don't think we've seen been used before. But these seems to be doing good, so... Go and the lads, uh, team pave spread out around Bravo. Just waiting, watching there and awaiting. See, Muggy, you've got a long way to come here. And I'll be a bit disappointed about being wiped, not having anyone pulled back a little bit. Battery coming down on the uh, drain track, and joined by PB with his experimental rifle. Dealing with burnt trees. PB being taken out though by Rashud. I think he's having a great game, a uh, couple of games so far, Rashud, apart from the obviously the blue on blue issues. Yeah. And, um, yeah, his first time on Oh cool, but that was good dynamite kill on Muguara as he was arming the thing. The oh what lovely. Stuff. But yeah, Rashud first time on hardcore and also struggling with the ping as he is in Bahrain, I believe, so. In Bahrain? Oh, right. Oh, I love yeah. you up. Yeah, oh, he's in Arab and he's in yeah, Bahrain, so. Oh, that may too, be wow. a factor here. He's, uh, he's brand new to GW as well, is he? He's in the last um, couple of days, yeah, or? Yeah. Fairly new oh, to GW in the last couple of days. So. Oh, oh, welcome to him. Welcome, welcome. Yeah. So. <sighs> So that's one point now for Team Muggy on uh, the first round of Amiens. Actually, they're doing a good job defending. Lil Bill is sitting up on top of the on top of the wooden structure here. I don't think he's been spotted. Oh yeah, I see him now. He's got a great little view down there. He's, he hasn't spotted Muggy coming towards him though. I think Muggy's shooting him. Frontline mobbing, dealing with him. Doing trees daily. Take out Muggy Wara. You now the lads have spread right out, leaving Tom Bailey in uh, defence. A very wise idea in my book. That tree coming down on his um, on his little run. Oh, I didn't see Rashid back there as well. Rashid down with the uh, bomb as well. That tree spotted Rashid though. He's coming in. Tom Bailey. Rashid's obviously told Tom what the crack is. Oh, here we go. Tom dealing with that tree coming around. You are uh, straight in through the door. Caught Tom sleeping. Tom's being backed up by Rashud and Little Bill. There's you are, he's sat there. Nice silence spawn. Wants to watch his back though. Going trees in here. There's so many people in this house right now. There's five people in the house. Oh. Since each other. Muggy Rara's coming through. Oh, he's out. What's going on? That Watch tree's laying there, though. He might get the arm off. Trees deals with him. Oh, and the smoke is a good cover. And that's it. He's got it. And he gets taken oh. out, though. A little bit too late. Like Alex with the uh, dynamite. Yeah, there's no, uh, no way. Oh, saying that, Alex is coming in. Yeah. Beautiful bit yeah, of uh, PB doing a good job killing there. I P B shooting through the door as the players are disarming. Oh look at that! He's got a great view straight through. I'm just looking behind P B's head now. 
That's a perfect little point there to look straight in. Oh, bit of blue on blue factory and Alex. Get a bit giddy. Itchy trigger finger. She's doing a good job. Been taken out though by Muggy. Muggy can regroup and get ready to push the next exit. The next sector. Ah, you see, this Bravo com can be a real nightmare sometimes. Real nightmare. See Muggy going straight in for Alpha Comp. Muggy up top having a good scope out of uh, Alpha first. Let these lads know what's, what the crack is. Run around, get a little built. Both teams doing a bit of reviving here. Tom Bailey being picked up. Looks like there's no action there. going on at Bravo right here. I think Muggy have swarmed Alpha. Muggy, you are already. Again. He's been running around everywhere. Exactly, but yeah, again, they're sending all their players to one comp. So, uh, oh yeah, Thatchery's in, but Alex is there. Oh, he spotted Calix's, uh, spotted Calix's dynamite before he went in. Shot it. Taken out. Yeah, looks like they've copped on to that dynamite. Yeah, maybe you should uh, stash them a bit better. Maybe I don't know. Oh, well, it's really being armed. I'm surrounded by words, but you are. It's so hard to combat this. Gee, this is my point now. Quick little limpet on the side of the wall. Pow, pow, straight in. Grenade. Oh, great little bit Tom's of play. In. Tom's in. But you go. Oh, little bit too late. Yeah. Now Rio with the Olympic kill Magiwara, as you said. <sighs> as you late. said, yeah, a little bit too late with that. Oh, Rio, oh yeah, of course. Sorry, I thought uh, I got a blue on blue then for a second. I was just looking at Alex and Magiwara with uh, blue on blue. On the kill feed. Looking at the scores, Magawara are not able to have as much impact this game so far, going 11 for 10. But they're still it's a lot oh, more. Trees was well aware that he can come around the corner there. That with Muggy straight away. Alex doing a good job picking up front line after taking out uh, Ben Trees. Here we go. Alex sat in his little spot, probably got his dynamite on there again. Let's have a little close look. Can I see any dynamite there? Oh no, we've got an incendiary trip line. Bravo point. Interesting to see who trips that. Looks like Team Muggy getting control of the Overwatch. However, Team Perv, three of them are sitting in the ground floor shop right here. Frontline looks like he's just sat down at the moment. Being a mm. silent spawn. Tom Bailey's coming in to investigate. You can hear him, Frontline can. Here we go. Oh, Tom, great kill there. Double kill actually, someone had just spawned in on him. That's really it was. There we go, I can hear rumbling round. Where are they? Quite a distance away. PB with his experimental. Coming in, he hasn't seen little Bill. Slowly catchy monkey. He is looking over at Little Bill's way though. Little Bill's caught an eye on him. One round missed. Another round. BB's ducking out of there. Bollocks to that. Let's go the other way, but he gets taken out by Burnt Trees. Burnt Trees with a triple kill there. Beautiful bit of play. Exactly. And Little Bill's got a good position here so he can watch the the blue doors from the Alpha Com. Yeah. And Anyone down the road as down well. There, you can just shoot. Ooh, round miss there. Oh, he's got boom tree. Uh, uh, front line, sorry. Out the front line in the end. Mugiwara is on the opposite side of a shoe. And boom trees. I can see dynamite on the side of this column as well. K 
Alex has done his little like, sneaky, sneaky. Ooh. They've got the Overwatch com and PV might be going for a silent arm. Oh, yes, taken out. Oh, okay. Alex the... with it. Oh no, Rashu. Oh yeah, killed himself, killed himself with the limp uh... again. But right here, Thatcher with the, the, the arm. It's Not killed. Anymore. Post spawn. Just taking out my Alex is down with him. With a little bill as well. Sat over there, still in his little spot. Great spot that. And yeah, I think we missed it, but frontline mob him taking. Burn trees tags with the saber as well. Oh yeah, lots of tags being taken in this. Great, great bit of play, as you say. The, uh, the melee side of it all in hardcore is quality. Okay, and look, you've got Cali here sitting on the field cannon. Not seen that being used before. No, point. me neither. Very interesting. But it looks like he's just firing into the Overwatch. I think he's just opening that building up, isn't he? Yeah. But he's getting flanked by Thatchery. Yeah. Thatchery's coming in slowly but surely. He's got eye on. He's got the bar. Just taking a quick look at what these lads are using here. We've got Wigglers. Well, now Thatchery being picked up, but Kallax has still got an eye on him. Team Perth now find a war on two fronts. Team Muggy comes in from in. both sides. Putting suppressive fire down on Little Bill. What's going on here? Little Bill got taken out by Muggy. Muggy knew he was there. Burn trees and shoot. Doing a good job. It's actually Calix back over in his point like said out. Muggy. Yeah, but still, frontline mobbing and PV sitting up in this building. Great spawn point right here. Yeah. Just come down. Death from above. Frontline mobbing going in, so just going to see what he can do. Bit of a trade kill there, I believe. That burn is going to be detrimental. Oh, no. Listening to Lil Bill. Oh, Lil Bill, yeah, taking out Tom Bailey in the heart, and that looks like, is that a team wipe? Uh, that is uh, blue on blue. It looks like a team wipe, yeah. I can't see anyone surrounded. Oh no. Here comes Burn Trees, trees and Rio though, in. see if they can stop it. And Tom Bailey, look at, with, look at this firefight going first. on. That tree with a double kill quality, with a triple kill. Blue on blue, unfortunately, Alex and PB. There's a burner on. It looks like Rio was trying to get in the building there, but he got stuck on the wall. It's unfortunate. Looks like this might be the taking of the sector with only three tickets left. Oh, you say that, but Tom's in. He's going He's for a secret that PG's. Building. Is he going to get it? Oh, ho, 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 ho. there's a grenade there. Really I didn't know that came in. Uh, that tree again we'll actually killed him. Yeah, again, this goes to show how close mm, the match Pat on the back there, there for uh, that tree. Fucking yeah, hell, definitely. man, that was uh, a yeah, crucial bit of play it. right there, yeah, crucial. Exactly. The factory is a great support player, so he might be lucky to get such a strong support player coming in. Oh, great bit of play there. This third set of comms. Bravo and Alpha. Alpha could be a bit of a nuisance, but... Looks like Thatcher might get an arm quickly on that. Bravo. On Alpha, sorry. It's not stopped. Me and here now, looking at Bravo. PB straight in on Bravo. Muggy's ran past just to uh, push up. Good bit of play. Muggy's pushing up again now. Making sure he's got both rooms like covered. Muggy PB controlling fence. Muggy's team in the whole of that other side Overwatch. Lovely. And Team Perk Lovely. on the other Overwatch trying to siege it. Absolutely, I'm just above PB looking down the road, looking down the corridor. Has he got an eye? Little Bill's on him. Grenade's coming in. Oh, it's smoke. Just gonna scoot back down to Little Bill's point. Mugiwara has spawned in. Oh, burn trees. Watch out, out lads, what is going on? Muggy dealt with him. All spawning here, watch your heads. Muggy being dealt with by Little Bill with his pistol. Blue on blue again, PB and Alex. I think Alex had just ran in and PB had gone to fight. 
buy one, yeah, one of these was, lads back here. That was brutal. The problem is that Team Perv rushed the other side Overwatch, got killed, and that meant that Team Muggy could then attack the other comm. Now they've got yeah. to push the Overwatch again. Good, good tactical work there. Mm. Spread them out. Exactly. Very good job to get the comm closest to the defending team spawn first. Good to make it an easier job to get the last comm. To get the last comm, absolutely. That was a quality set of uh, comms taken there by Team Muggy. Absolutely, Absolutely quality. Destroyed it in a couple of minutes. Yeah, I think from start to finish there, it was roughly about two minutes. Deal. The score is looking really even. One of you going 21 for 20, but Burn Trees this time looks like he's the killer. Going 30 for 16. Yeah. Great mm -hmm. job. Bloody artillery is my nutting. There we go. Lads of Muggy, uh, Team Muggy pushing in now. Little Bill took, him away, took himself away just in time there, I think. Frontline didn't see him. He spotted Frontline. Gave himself away to Thatchery though. Thatchery pumping a grenade. Not non effective PB and Thatchery want to watch out. Oh, I missed Muggy there. Muggy came around the back of him, slotted little bit. Good bit of defensive play there. Some of the kills. Muggy quick to pick oh, the lads up though. Was going in the courtyard right here. Good to see a bit of health drop before he ran on as well. He does the heal up. Oh, bit of smoke. I don't know if he spotted PB on the bomb. He has. He has. Done a good job to defend there. Absolutely. Factory going for Bravo now. Tom's going to try to stop him. But nope, Factory looks like he's going in the building above on Bravo, and that's going to be a crucial spawn point. As you can see, yep, Mugiwara coming in on him. Just looking for the bird from Studs. Shoes took the way out of Alpha. Little Bill's in a nice little slot. Hopefully, oh, no one's got the arm on, though. There's absolutely no one there. Yep, exactly. he's on on the arm. Among team have done a great job to see where Team Perv are weak and punch through those gaps. As they can see, they yeah. saw there was only one person over here at Bravo, killed him. He swarmed Bravo and looks like now they're going to get the comp. Absolutely, Muggy's left on his own. Gets dealt with though by Calix. Calix is in for the defuse. Burnt trees. Needs to watch him though. No blue on blue there. Good job. PB's yeah, coming out. Oh no, he's upstairs, is he? Green trees again. Take out frontline mobbing. Mobbing with being picked up. i Muggy. Don Bailey dealing with both of them. Good bit of play, Team Muggy. In it. Got a little bit of force going on here now. Patry and Alex. Oh, great bit of play there. By Tom. Triple kill. Those get taken out by Factory though. And Cali with yeah. the dynamite on the com again. And taking out frontline mobbing, done a great job to defend on the Bravo point right there. Okay. Use that to the right, Alex. Silent spawn. Take it out though. Tom again. In trees. And Tom, so outside. Nicely, nicely. Oh, good recovery there. I think he took a couple of rounds between trees before he actually took uh, <coughs> took down that tree. Being taken out in the end though by grenade by uh, Alex. Good grenade. Looks like they're now shifting the focus over to Alpha again. Trying to see this. Rasud still sitting in the corner though. PB. PB's in on Bravo. And he's dealt with uh, Calix. I think. I think uh, Team Perv had left Calix there to try and keep an eye on it and let him know. And just like that, and I didn't even realise that's going to be a double PB. arm. PB was all over it. Oh yeah, taking Cali's tags. Again, great little play. Bing bong, bing bong. 
What is going to happen here then? The decisions, decisions now, though, isn't it? Okay, what Tom coming in behind TV? He hasn't spotted. TV hasn't spotted him. Tom's got the defuse. He's got to get there. Let's go on. Good play. Great nice. play there. The lads are spawning in on him. You want to watch your head? It's like, pop, pop, pop. Oh, good dynamite there. Dynamite that. again from Cali. Unstoppable. I'm machined with the limpet down the stairs. You know, watch out, lads. Muggy's on. Swarm defuse. The arm. Yep. Get out on the arm, sorry, not the defuse. Great bit of play by uh, Team Muggy there. Doing a great job. <clears throat> Little Bill doing his bit. Some good, good rounds down there, down the alley. Well, this is almost a team wipe. Muggy Warrior is the only one alive. He's picking up his friends. Take that one. You are still there. He's still kicking. Watch yourself, matey. Right, he's pushing. Oh, there you go. Great revives. Good stuff, and that is that is a good point, Tim Muggy. You've made a lot of revives this game. Absolutely. Keeping, keeping uh, his team alive, keeping <clears throat> the force rolling. That's gonna. That's the key, really, really, isn't it? You know, keeping everyone in the in the know, <clears throat> not getting squad wiped. What you are is going for it. He's risking it through the artillery. He doesn't make it. Battery's right up here. Yeah, Thatcher is right up here. Not he's a hidden. Job. Little Bill, little Bill's coming in. He hasn't spotted him. Thatcher. No, yeah, it looks like he's going to be the spawn point. I think maybe. he's going to be the spawn point. Great play. Sit in those bushes. Mugiwara's in. Oh, a little bit yeah, he's premature. He's I feel. The cover, exactly. Although he's, is he going to deal with it? He has dealt with it. Oh. Thatcher, get in there, mate. Someone with a bit of smoke. Pump a bit of smoke down. Bit tight for a second, mate. You're being watched. Oh, look at that! Straight over behind the com. No one can see him. Who's it being? So he'll be in trouble. Now, but, oof. Team there you go. Be panicking now. You've got to rush it. Yeah. Here they come. Bugger, bugger, bugger. Get in there quick. Tom's on the point. Rashid's around the back. Rashid gets taken out by Fat Tree. No doesn't one's know seen the Tom. Of the, the smoke. Bilbo's pushing him. He's nice. The tags. Good he job, there, the builder. Yeah, Tom. Nice. <laughs> Frontline mobbing. Mopping up. Tom Bailey. Just doing his perimeter check. No one about, gents. No one about. Okay, a little bit here maybe. comes Team Muggy from behind though, and looks like they're going to push the Bravo Com inside the building oh, from behind. Great position in here. Open. Oh look, great bit of uh, AT rocket use there. there you go, they got the, opening that wall up. The arm unaware behind. Cali's dynamite not good enough this time. Yeah, not quite in despair yet though. Team Purvis have got a man here. Oh. Didn't see Muggy come in though, Muggy slotted him. Dude, that was Cali, Calix. <clears throat> Rashid spawning on a little belt. Coming over to see what he can do. Watch out, Thatchery is after you, mate. Boom, 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 boom. Thatchery it's doing well there. The alpha bomb. He's in. Will he get the arm before he dies? He has. Oh, he's done well to stay alive there throughout that burn it. And now a team perver oh. playing catch up on that alpha con. Look at that. Good bit good bit of play there. Gally, Rashid, Burn Trees, Son Bailey all coming over towards Alpha now. Being met by Team Muggy. Muggy's on the point pretty much. Bending like an animal. Stay oh, off my honey, team, 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 uh, yeah, team Muggy Bear says. Oh, there you go. Quality. <coughs> oh, 
Well, that's another 10 there for Team Muggy. Drawing Bring bombs. To a, a total of 20 views. points accumulated already with one more map to push. Yeah, it's going to be hard, uh, hard catching Team Muggy really on the points now, I think. Exactly. Hey guys, before I just drop in, I uh, was sort of overlooking that one, and um, damn, Team Muggy really came in strong on that one. Absolutely. Yeah, it, was, it was close though. It was really it was, close. Sorry, it was, cool. yeah. Muggy only going 31 for 31. I've said yeah, it, it was a lot closer today. And I think I think Burn Trees Daily was definitely the star player for that match from Team Perth. Yeah, for that, yeah he's, he's definitely the man. Yeah. Getting the plenty man of raises. Down. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it seemed on a few of the uh, few of the points, especially the one on the C point on domination. I I just couldn't believe they didn't get that uh, get that diffuse off um, when they when they had exactly. Muggy's team had about three. Close, so I, think, I think Team Muggy are doing a great idea of finding where the other team are weak, pushing there, and just like that they'll switch their focus to the other com, and the other yeah. team are running yeah. behind. Yeah, yeah. I, I just really hope that, uh, you know, Perth's team's uh, morale isn't too down. You know, they're on the attack now. They can still bring it. Um, yeah. Hopefully they can pull some points back. Uh, they're, they're such a good team, and that's, it's, it's such a shame because I don't think the points uh, the MCOMs captured really represent how, how, how each team's played thus far. It's been no. ropey there, right towards the end, just at the end each time. But, yeah, interesting game so far. It's been strung out, hasn't it? See, uh, yeah. as you say, especially on some of these comms, they've had, like, Really, a major amount of tickets lost. You know, the three, fours, all the yeah, rest of it, and they've uh, they managed to hang yeah. on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, you know, it's important to say, but you know, the Team Perv is missing Mr. Perver Shorts again. I'll say it because he he's a massive player for that team, and you know, he'll be he would be racking up the up the kills in this match. Yeah, and, uh, exactly. that could have been it could have been a game changer. But Tom Bailey's in here on Bravo. Tom already. Bailey's straight in there, isn't he? I'm watching Good. him out. Now they really need to take these two confidently Tom, and positively. Out, straight in. Hopefully they yeah. 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 a little bit of momentum going for them again. I think it's Tom's uh, Tom switch to support, which is interesting. Yeah, he's got yeah, he's exactly. there. He obviously feels that he can do a little bit more killing and yeah, less raising. Yeah. Well, I've just seen a uh, just spotted a, a blue on blue there. Alex and Muggy happened a little bit earlier. Great bit of play. He's been diffused. Oh. I need to hold on to Alpha now. There's Callie. He's on it. BB, last man. Wow. Oh, good stuff, Callie. Good stuff. Callie's done good. really good stuff of overwatching the comms. But it's yeah. dynamite. Really terrible. And PB as well with that fucking experimental man. He was destroying with that thing. I think he was. More, he was. More so. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. No, I was going to say, uh, <clears throat> it, it fires a smaller caliber round as well, you know, it does less damage, but as you say, uh, how lads mix up what they're doing exactly. and what weapons yeah, they use on their uh, hardcore. The gun shoots yeah, yeah. Uh, what's supposed to be pistol ammo. Oh, is it? Oh, right. Yeah. I know it uses small caliber, but no pistol. But it fires, it's got a hell of a rate of fire on it. One of the things that really drew me to um, hardcore was how sort of more real the guns were. You know, if I shoot you, yeah. it doesn't matter what gun I have, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> you know, it, if, yeah. I, if I shoot you, you it's or... gonna hurt, yeah. So, uh, you know, if I, it, to me, um, if, it, if I had my way, you know, it really would be a one shot kill deal. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and that sort of uh, promotes a, a more, a, an even more um, accelerated running gun approach, or um, a more sit back, take your time, tactical, yeah. you know, squad approach. Yeah, play. yeah, definitely. And uh, that that was one of the things that always appealed to me with with hardcore because I wasn't going to be shooting at somebody that was doing a, a pirouette in front of me, you know. Yeah. Trying yeah. to hit him. And yeah, he's you know, just soaking just, up the that, round. to me that just seems silly. Let's let's just keep it. It's a shooter. If I shoot you, you die. You die. Uh, yeah. When I was a boy, we'd always argue about who was who got shot first. 
when we was playing armies, you know? Oh, yeah, with I shot you there, first. Yeah. No, uh, yeah, 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 with the sticks and that, you know? I shot you first. And uh, with core, it's, you know, you don't have to be the necessarily the first person to shoot first, you know? <laughs> Uh, but hardcore is a lot more. It's a lot more prevalent, you know. If I see you, yeah, you, you get, get a shot off on you. Yeah, I see you. I'm on target, you know. I outsmarted you. Um, yeah. So to me, it kind of just less of that running gun bullshit and um, some more sort of real tactical play. That's that's what always appealed to me about hardcore. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to point out Cali here, going twelve for one. He was going, I think he's just died, but yeah, he was doing a great job getting right. the rubble I'm just going to drop down. off the comms, just for a minute. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah. It's like Callie's doing a great job of... Like, yeah, Callie's been comms. doing really well. Uh, maybe a little bit too reliant on the um, dynamite, as we saw uh, with some of the plants earlier in the game. You know, he would kill the person after they planted. Um, and again, you know, la lack of visual on the comm, lack of communication. Well, communication playing a big part. Communication is, um, you know, as, as you know, Harvey, it, it, it's a massive element to the game. Um, you know, if you're not talking, if you're not talking clear um, instructions and um, positions to your to your teammates, you know, you, you you've literally lost half of your 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 full potential, you know, your full capability. Um, exactly, it's so hard with our team. Yeah, you know, I mean, do well. Just, obviously, yeah. you can understand they've lost a lot of morale. So obviously, Team Mo, you've taken twenty points from them, but they've just got to keep their head up, got to keep talking, got to stay positive. Otherwise, they're just going to end up with zero points. Which well, like yeah, well, right that's here. it. One of the uh, the good things about this tournament, um, you know, just because you you lose a round it doesn't mean you're out you know it, it's to the very end and it, each time is a point so you so you've got to keep um pushing and pushing and pushing all the way to the very end Just, even if you can salvage a few points you know um so it's great here what we saw you know in the game earlier in argon with those two tickets you know we saw a great push with only two tickets left and i've seen plenty of games um, where two tickets left means they've given up. You know, they're not going to push for that com. They're going to sit, they're going to wait, and it never works out. They just get picked off. But <coughs> I was very, very impressed with the, uh, with the push earlier, that yeah, two ticket like, push. You might be seeing it again. This is another two ticket push, but it wasn't successful. And so that brings the score to. What is that? 20 to how many points did you uh, yeah. so they've got, so they got one point for for that one on uh, Amions I'm not sure about what they got on Argon it appears that Kelly has left the server yeah exactly this might uh, be his time to just, go uh, let me just dial in the uh, GWPD see if they can get in there and uh the rest that I'll mofo. Go, uh, I will go figure something out. Great performance there from uh, Frontline and Mugiwara. Frontline being the um, longest standing member in this uh, match at the moment uh, frontline with a good five years under his uh, GW belt uh, I would say and also Cali uh, Cali as well there and no noticeably both at the top top of the boards there with the uh, highest skills and lowest deaths and, and this is uh, GW mainstay mode rush um, both frontline and Cali well versed in the in the rush uh, game mode a great yeah, bit of play there myself i've had much experience of rush I play you have or you haven't scrims. no i have not i played a few scrims back in battlefield 4 this game i haven't really played much at all 
Oh yeah, I do appreciate it. It's a good game mode, very intense. It's certainly, yeah. uh, you know, tactics definitely come into play and uh, GWPD has now made it back into the server. And uh, what's the story, Carol? Uh, yeah, Kelly had to leave. Um, we've got parent, parents, uh, can't stay on too late. Um, uh, Wild Fox Hi guys, is coming in. Sorry about that. <clears throat> okay, excellent. Yeah, Wild, excellent. Wild Fox is coming in because, uh, well, I mean, Wild Fox was originally one of the, uh, one of the team members, so um, it worked out, I guess. Uh, but yeah, morale what's, seems pretty down. We've lost, um, a, but, lost a player. Yeah. yeah, Kelly's had to go. Um, oh. Yeah, yeah. I just, you know, uh, it's, it's obviously a lot different when you're uh, when you're watching from above. You can see how close it is, but when mm -hmm. when you do when you are that close and you don't manage to get it when you're playing, it can uh, it can really hit you hard in, in game. Uh, really yeah, it's hard not to be uh, quite frustrated sometimes. I think. Definitely, definitely. It's important they don't let that get to them. But obviously, you know, when you're going through the match now and you're on twenty points to two, it's a it's a difficult thing to face. Especially with a new player coming in, that's going to be some new. The other. Definitely, yeah, know. they're missing Perv, they've got a new player, they've now got Wild Fox yeah, coming in, you know. Well, they've got 60% of their original roster. See, they're missing a okay. good player there as well, aren't they, really? Oh, definitely. They're Cali, good player. Although Perv. Fox, I've played with Foxy before, Wild Fox, and... Uh, oh, the guy is on point player. with the Medic. Yeah, yeah, medic. Uh, is that what he's you... filling in? Oh, or... I don't know if he's filling in. Maybe filling right in now. for a soul um, here. You have to be a soul. Uh, certainly yeah. on the medic class, uh, if you're going to uh, if you're going to have any um, medic in your squad, Anyone? then Wild yeah. Fox is certainly one of the one you want to have. I totally he's, agree there. Totally he's agree. on point with that syringe. He's picked my ass up many a times. Um, uh, and yeah, but yeah, it's uh, you know. Muggy's team it has a new player as well, uh, that tree. He seems to have taken to the game pretty well. He seems to be enjoying himself. By the oh, uh, pretty well. You know, impressed with um, Rio and uh, that tree. Uh, that really tree. good plays there. Um, Especially on such <clears throat> short notice. Yeah, for That's sure. Like, for yeah, sure. Just and, to be I kind of like their, uh, you know, their attitude. They're, they're still in the game, still playing, and um, you know, as well, especially for Rio, as uh, he's now on the underdog team, as it were. Um, mm. uh, but but this is, you know, this is what uh, competitive play is all about. That you you don't just give up. You know, you have to keep Got pushing until the very end. Yeah, yeah and. And, and that's exactly it, Harvey. Giving. You know, every day is a school day. You, you, there's mm. nobody, anybody who tells you they know everything is a liar. You know, they don't know everything, and uh, you're always learning. And you just got to be a sponge. Oh, definitely. You know, you got to soak it, it yeah. up. Got to it, definitely. Especially, uh, you know, I, <clears throat> I know you're a bit of a grafter yourself, Levi. When you're on site and some geezer with the clipboard comes up and says, "No, you're doing that wrong," you know. You've got years, years served experience. A lot of time to shut up, really, don't you? And, yeah, yeah, you know, like, yeah, it's like you, you know, you're always learning every day. Yeah, sorry about that. So I didn't miss much then. Uh, I had to just shoot off. Obviously, our little lad's uh, a week old tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, Congratulations, so. Benson. Yeah, cheers, man. Yeah, cheers. yeah, great. Yeah, little boy, he is he's a little stunner. Probably get him signed up to GW as and when I can. <laughs> well, uh, he'll have to join the um, GWJ um, division, which is uh, Juniors, GW yeah. Juniors. And, nice. uh, of course, the uh, standards are a little bit different for the junior team. Yeah, I've only just um, only just come out of that team myself, to be honest. <laughs> well. Oh, so, where's Foxy then? Foxy's not quite in here yet then. He's loading up, I believe. And I, I must admit, I do like this uh, map out of all the uh, Russian DLC maps. Um, this yeah. is probably one of my favourites because of the uh, urban environment here. And I think it lends itself yeah. well to uh, some tactical play as opposed to the more sort of open maps which are a bit more sort of um you know i'm gonna sit here this is my rifle this is my gun you know yeah yeah 
um, this map here, so many corners, so many angles, so many possibilities, and That's it, um, yeah. you know it really is on the defending team here to really try and shut down every angle. All now, the um, yeah. I, me personally, I would say in a fives, um, defending is a lot harder. Um, yeah. But as an attacker, I, I, I would be more, I would be more sort of leaning on the side of send everybody to one com, get that lit, mm -hmm. um, yeah. and then try and send one, one uh, a mole. Yeah, cool. try and send a mole to the other yeah. side and get that lit. That's so what Team Muggy's been doing. Yeah, create, create creates a bit of panic, like you said earlier, Harv. You know get the two comms lit creates a bit of disarray a bit of panic you know then the then the defending team have to choose you yeah, know um, and it, that yeah. can make all the difference but but certainly you know you want to you want to deliver a hard punch on your initial attack and that means everybody in. yeah yeah everybody on one com swamp it um the defending team have to choose you know are we going to go two two one three two four one you know um so yeah, the the, the ionis is, uh, it is on the defending team really if the if the attacking team are on the ball and it looks like muggy and frontline backed team up by pb is. now straight on to alpha burn trees taken down by muggy uh, and alpha is drop. armed wicked there you go there's your punch like they thought team muggy would go to bravo com there's your punch yeah. levi Straight in. They hit that and hard. They pushed up as well. Yeah. They pushed and now up as well it looks like the this. whole squad there, pretty much. We're missing one. Some RC four. Down to three. Yeah, blue on blue again. Ah, nightmare. See, that's those tight little corners, though, isn't it? As you were saying. Exactly. It's the panic. And, uh, the split Harvey. second decision. Yeah. To who shoot. are you? I'm not sure. Take a round. Well, in uh, one of the sort of unsaid sayings in hardcore is um, shoot first, say sorry later. You know? say, yeah, apologise afterwards. Yeah, because uh, you know you you've got to make you've got to get that kill if it's uh, exactly. if it's him or me. It's got to be him. Make out badly, looking, but uh... It's better a team kill than an armed objective. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah definitely. Yeah, I've been in uh, quite a few games with uh, a few of your lads and been overlooking a bit of smoke goes in and, you know, maybe the objective's in a bunker and it's, don't come through here, otherwise you're going to die. Exactly, you know, yeah. Anything that moves, you know. Yeah, yeah. Don't oh, show you, you know, don't, I see your legs. There. Muggy straight in, lovely. Well, another are. strong performance there from Muggy, uh, Team Muggy Wire. I'm just... I'm just wondering whether Team Perv actually got the go order there because they seemed a little bit slow on the uptake on the defence there towards Alpha. There wasn't really much uh, yeah, no, activity. I, I, from... I, I can understand uh, that it looks that way, but I was looking at the, um, yeah, the scoreboard the whole way. So I, well. I set the go order and it, it was exactly the same time. But what I noticed in this map, and this is what Perv talked about when we played him on this map, is that it's the spawn for the attackers and the spawn for the defenders is completely completely unbalanced the is attackers really? will the attackers will always make that acom first every okay. single time okay oh, so yeah. oh. so what i will say is that um rush you know innately um the first set of comms on 99 percent of the maps um when you're talking more about sort of it's more in favor of the attackers because you know dice developed the game so that it would be um, a progression and yeah, okay, the yeah, deeper the and deeper rolling, you get into the map yeah, yeah, yeah exactly it, a, but what you do find is that you know teams that played rush from battlefield 3 from battlefield 4 um they really understand how to manipulate the map uh to suit oh, on the defense so there yeah. are there are maps well, no, that, that if, makes sense, isn't it? Yeah, well, if you are savvy, um, and you, and a lot of it depends on that first exchange. You know, yeah. if the defenders can win the first exchange in a firefight, and they know yeah. what they're doing, they can hold it. Spreading out. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'd say Argon but, is a good example. If you if you do a good defense in Argon, you can uh, you can 
You, you can really hold them on the first yeah. set. That's right. Yeah, you can hold them on the first set. That's what we did to. Uh, we did that to Purvis. Yeah, yeah. Little Bill here. Yeah. So, thought she'd be taking out Tom Bailey's though coming in. Got the point. Sorry guys, just to uh, jump in there. Just a bit of nice play going on. Front lines left to his left of his own at the moment. You got a triple kill there, and that definitely well, secured the, uh, the destroyer of Alpha. Quality. I do feel yeah, though that um, Team uh, Muggy is uh, a little bit OP. With uh, we've got Muggy, we've got Alex, we've got Frontline, we've got Tom. Oh no, Tom's on the other team. But we've got Frontline, yeah. Muggy, Alex. Easy. Straight away, and you with know. That tree in there as well. You know, the three great play. players right, right there who have played together yeah. for a while. Mm -hmm. You know, have respect for each other, know how to play. I mean. You look at how uh, Muggy and Frontline play, these two yeah. are pretty much running together, you know, and they're sort of... Yeah, I've been watching uh, that all uh, Yeah, and they're very, very round. similar in styles, you know. These guys, you you can call them what you like, but you can never call them campers, right, because they no, don't camp, no, they are constantly themselves. on the move, you know. Um, yeah, and yeah, uh, they're very similar in play style. Uh, I've played with Frontline for, for many, many years now. And one of the reasons why um, we we scouted Frontline is because the guy's an absolute arsehole. You know, he will be right up in your <laughs> yeah. face. He'll be yeah. right up in your face holding you in your spawn. And Even I knew you, from the first time that he killed me, you know, I want that guy. Uh, yeah. So and, and Muggy's just the same. Little you know, he, there, he will push you box. straight back. Yeah, I think get up in well, your face um, and annoy you. It, you were talking about the, the teams earlier, and uh, and you're right. It, 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 Muggy's team, since the addition of that tree, uh, has lost its balance.
Well, Fox in defense of Alpha now. He's rapidly taken down by Team Muggy. Frontline and PB pushing straight into Alpha past Alpha, in fact, just pushing the line there and able to take down the Alpha defense. And Alpha is now singing for Team Magiwara and Thatchery just making his way over to Bravo with no time wasted here. And we have defense in the form of Burn Trees and Tom Bailey, in fact, PB, Little Bill. And Rio all backing up the Bravo Con here, the full squad. Let's hope they can pull this one. Burn trees just up on Bravo, defusing that one now for Team Purvis. Frontline still in the vicinity of Bravo and making some damage here. Alpha has been taken by Team Muggy and now making their move onto Bravo. Plenty of tickets left. Frontline taken down by Tom Bailey there. And Alex taken down by Burn Trees. And it looks as though Team Perv now in full control of Bravo as Team Muggy are forced to spawn back at the home spawn, that looked like a squad wipe and here they come and in force Patry and Muggy just working the immediate vicinity around Bravo, Muggy now going for the Bravo arm Backed up by the whole squad. Great play here from Team Mugiwara as they have squad wiped Team Perv who are now forced to spawn back at the home spawn and this is a dangerous time now for Team Perv. Tom Bailey coming in at the forefront for the defence. Can he make a difference? Takes down Alex but Alex backed up by frontline. Tom takes down Alex and Frontline. Can he get Muggy as well? Muggy securing the kill on Tom. Picking up his boy. And another two sets of comms there for Team Muggy. And a great bit of play. And I'm just going to accept this invite. Sorry for the blue screen. Okay, excellent. Fucking blue screens all over our fucking stream. Nice. Uh, I was the only one left in. I I've, I've been kicked. Mm. Oh. I don't know what happened there. I think. Uh, okay, yeah, so like... so next time, any 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 time that happens, um, Benson, mm -hmm. be straight on it and start sending out invites. Oh, because see, obviously, okay. yeah. Because for me, you know. Oh, do you know? I didn't actually. I. I wasn't because I was watching something going on and it it didn't say that I was kicked out. So yeah, no, the no, next no, that's time fine, that's fine. Um, yeah, yeah, but that's fine. But as soon as you notice that shit, um, you know, yeah, get invites out because that only means like one blue screen minimal time for the for me, the streamer. Oh, I see. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I've just spent like you know stupid amounts of time on a fucking blue screen. Um, yeah, I see. Which when yeah, you're watching, yeah. you don't want to watch blue screen. You want to watch the game. So no, of course you don't. Yeah, of course you do. I'm with you. Got the toad. Damn. Hi, right, toad. Are we still? Are, are we live then? Yes, we are still yeah. live. It's still going on. Oh, we are still live. Yep. Back on it. Back on it, uh, Benson. Uh, yeah. Well, Bravo's been. Um, Where's Arvi? Maggie's been taking out it's Bravo. And they're doing, I think, dealing I with think that he's the there. reason it went down because of his internet. <laughs> Uh, net type or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Well, since you've been gone anyway, guys, uh, there's two sets of comms been taken in <laughs> beautiful fashion as well, to be fair. Absolutely well, the stream has still fashion. been live, so um, it's still there, minus, you know, a blue screen here and there. 
Uh, oh, okay. We oh, saw Team Muggy so take that last set what? with, um, you know, great prowess. Um, Did you? Muggy coming in round the back of everyone and uh, getting in there. That was quality. I just, He's I on just... 33 for 7 right now. Yeah, I, 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 I kind of feel at the minute that, um, and I don't mind saying this, you know, I kind of feel like um, Muggy's team is a little bit OP. Uh, yeah, you were saying that just of, before. Um, yeah. Especially yeah. since the sub, the sub out of Cali as well. That's a natural. The sub out of Cali oh. and Perv not being able to play. Um, yeah. You know, obviously. There's another just, 10 gone. Nobody's fought right there, but I just. Uh, I don't want to see a complete stomp, and I would like to see an equal an equal match of talent here. I don't think and, it's uh, been so much of a stomp. It has in the way of. They've defended really well. And maybe not attacked as as, as greatly, but you know the, the potential's in there, wouldn't you agree, guys? Mm. Oh, w without a doubt, the potential's in there. But you've got um, you've got uh, Muggy Frontline and Alex. Um, all three of them have have spent a good enough amount of time uh, playing together. With each other. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and that counts for a lot. I mean, you know, that counts that, for a lot. Thatchery, so. though, him coming into this as well, like, you know, you've got to take your hat off to Thatchery as well, like, to be fair. I know he, he is a support player, as you're saying, um, and he has been given the support role, but he's, uh, he's, he's, I think he's excelled Team Muggy a little bit during this. Uh, well, without a doubt, I mean, uh, that was a, um, a great recruitment, a great scout there. Uh, Absolutely. Coming in and, uh, you know, that's, that's been impressive. And, you know, the fact that Muggy's team is a little bit OP at the minute uh, compared to the other teams, especially as we've lost, um, you know, Purvis, which is a massive bloke. Let's, let's, not, yeah. uh, let's not beat around the bush here. Is with the boy cute. Perv because uh, you know the guy is an absolute beast and uh, yeah absolutely I and they've uh, given it the bigger you know as well all day through Discord you know with team team uh, Muggy as well so yeah you know, just, that's, that's, is, gonna, that's gonna hype everyone up the thing is it's just um, you know the, the team Perv has lost Perv and then they you know and then they've lost Cali for the game as well Muggy lost oh, we lo and, we've and lost someone now on team Muggy. <laughs> Yeah, that tree had to restart him. So oh. I think their their party crashed as well. I think PSN had a little fart. Um, oh, I see. Um, but yeah, you know, it's it's a real shame. But the game had to go on. Uh, and, oh and yeah, of strange. course. It's a shame of it's course. ended this way. But for the first few uh, first few rounds, it was actually fairly fairly even. Um, yeah. All right, I'm I'm back here. I think it's been uh, I think it's been a great. It, watch, both, both teams have been, you know, very impressive to play. Like you said, Carol, before, you know, it's very difficult to um, depict when you're actually playing how close things are. You know, it's very easy yeah. for the overview to see that shit. You know, if, if you had one or two more guys here, or if you'd have just turned around that corner mm -hmm. or whatever, then maybe yeah, you'd have or, got this. But yeah, exactly. there's been a great, great performance. We're now on the last map, last round, last map um, Wait, of has, this has match. Ended? Uh, no, we're just about to start the very last round, and it, you know it's important to play right up to the end because points need to be need to be won or stopped, you know, for either yeah, team. Exactly. Um, and uh, both teams are putting a really a really good performance, um, a really good yeah. performance here. See, but uh, well, I just wanted to say I'm, I didn't want to put I didn't want to pat Team uh, Muggy on the back too much because too um, much, yeah. You know, yeah because uh, Team Perth you know they did lose Purvis and I just kind of feel that um, you know if Purvis was on the field a, then uh, uh, we might yeah. have seen a little bit of a different story here. Yeah, Extremely and unfortunate. as you say quite a lot as well. The 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 man's a beast. You mm. know I've witnessed his uh, witnessed his skills before now. Shout out to my boy Perv. <laughs> Got Purvis <a purpose> lid. <laughs> but yeah, no quality. But hey, you know, at least it's only in house and uh, it's all a bit of fun, unless you big, your, big yourself up too much beforehand. <clears throat> well, and of course, you know, this, um, let's not, you know, let's not be coy about this. Uh, uh, you know, we don't, 
GW don't go into any battle thinking, uh, you know, that we're the best or we're going to smash um, something. You, you know, you win and lose. That's, that's part of the mm, deal. Yeah. Um, and yeah. the the is 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 it? It's easy to remain a team when you're winning. You know, the hardest part is to remain a team oh, yeah, of course. when you're losing. When you're losing, yeah. yeah. And when the chips are down and yeah. yeah. And that really separates the men from the boys, you know. Yeah, all taking it on the chin and wear it like a man, really. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Or a woman, obviously, you know. It's, yeah, you know, it's not, not a, well, they're, you know, on a, on a few of the discords I've been on, there are there are a lot of women, and um, they just uh, like That's to bitch a lot. Right. <laughs> um, Pervis is in. Uh, not Pervis, PV, sorry. <laughs> yeah, now, and now he's not. I love that little scream that they do when you redeploy it. Mm, it looks like Bill has just cost the attacking team a ticket there. The defending team, you know, and that's also something that has to be pointed out on um, on on Rush, and you know, not just Five's Rush, but on Rush in general. Um, deaths only count for the attackers. If you're the a defender, team, you know, yeah. it doesn't matter. If you if uh, there's if it. there's a void yeah. that needs to be filled, redeploy and fill that Dude. void. Okay, yeah. No, yeah. Because your death does not count, you know. No, um, of course not. It can be uh you know, there's so there's so much uh sort of um highlight given to all great kills and and, you know, great KDR, this, that, and the other. But, but to be honest, you know, Rush, uh, in my opinion, is, it is the epitome of playing the objective. Because yeah. you can die, you know, you can be, like, double negative, but you're double negative because you but were pushing. You, but you smashed it. Yeah, yeah exactly. you were pushing and you got that disarm, you know, or you got that arm. That's um, it, you've had all uh, the arms. Why, yeah. I exactly. don't like KD as the stat. My favourite stat to look up is the score per minute. Cause that that shows yeah. that you can you can do more than just sit with a sit with an OP gun and run about and slide a lot. But if you're picking them reses, healing your players, then that goes to showing score per minute, which I think is better. Yeah, yeah, Definitely. yeah you know, for sure. Take it, taking out vehicles and stuff like that. It's, you know, things like that. Really, as you say, with the reses and stuff like that. Well, well. Alright, guys, you know... we're about to get underway here. Just uh, letting oh, you know, I'm just sorry. sending out the go order. Okay, last round, here we go. Go. Let's get it on. Yeah, well, you've got to take your hat off to uh, Team Muggy yeah. there, getting all on, on every map, getting all, uh, all the objectives, you know. Well, you've got well. two uh, two really, really strong um, rush players there in the form of Frontline and Mugiwara. Um, you know, obviously Frontline, you know, I've been playing with Frontline for years on Rush. That's how I yeah. met him. Um, he knows the game in and out. Uh, Mugiwara the same. You know, I've been playing with Mugiwara a long time. That's how me and Muggy met on the Rush servers, hardcore Rush servers at that. So you've got some... Two two really strong veterans on, on of the mode on the field there. Um, they know how the game mode works. They know how to manipulate the game mode, and you're seeing that. You know, you're seeing that in action. Yeah, of course. It's all sweet. Yeah, I I agree. You know, uh, it's interesting the in-house stuff. You know. There's a lot of shit talk, there's a lot of stuff, uh, sort of, you know, I'm going to get you, we're going to destroy you. But when it actually comes down to the game, like, and when you are playing against people that you know and you're in the same clan, it can be difficult. And I think people, players get far more emotional than maybe they do against enemy teams. Or, uh, oh, well, I fans, mean, yeah, the in-house stuff is, you're on a knife edge. You know, you're on you're a knife yeah, edge in camaraderie right. and people seriously falling out, you know. Well, that's um, it, yeah. yeah, but, you know, I'm oh, gone, sorry. <laughs> We're on a double arm here, though. I mean, Tom oh. Bailey's team pulling it out. It's a good start. I really, I really want to see uh, Team Bur Team Perv slash uh, Team Bailey. Uh, so really, push, like. pu really push, yeah, really push them back if they can. I would like to see, yeah. um, you know, a great, a great sort of pushback. Need push some more back. points, really. Turning up for three attacks and getting 
what, what is it, two points out of the two attacks? They, they just need more yeah, to get on the board. Yeah, like factory there with the defuse on Alpha. But Bravo taken oh, down there. Go, 24 Bravo, tickets go. left now for Alpha. Let's just hope that they can get a foothold. Um, I, I, you know, I was on uh, mute earlier um, for some of the previous matches, and um, somebody mentioned about being aware. Of, I think it was Harvey, you know, being aware of the kills and and it, yeah. in fives that is so so important. You have to head count. You know, count, yeah. I've got uh, he's dead, no, he's dead. You know, are. three or yeah. four dead. That's yeah, it. Time to point. move. Where it was a team wipe, and they were all running around checking bushes, checking behind bushes. Yeah, no yeah, and it, you know, they the just, obviously they just didn't, no you know, was they just, nobody it. was clocking that shit down, you know? Yeah. I'm watching burnt trees, though, I don't know, he's coming in, he's got a nice little position. I think Muggy spotted him, though. I must say, like, big respect to Tom Bailey for uh, for taking the leadership role on such a last minute notice. You know, it's a difficult thing really? to, to, to respect take to over. all of the players from yeah, the team that have joined in. Obviously, with the smoke there, yeah, but yeah. Smoke come in the last minute. I think we're uh, we're going to have a post game interview. I think uh, it would be interesting to hear the the, the, the team leader's point of views after that. Oh, we yeah, have Tom I'll Bailey discuss. here, just sitting tight, waiting for the spawn. It's Unfortunately, like, his spawn got him. killed, oh, he's but he's taken with, down Muggy, and he's still he's trying to hold that ground. Look at him here; he's, he's not now. pushing. He's holding his ground, waiting for the spawn, yeah, and here they are. Oh, watch out! He oh, unfortunately got a team kill there, but his team are now in on the field. Couldn't be helped. Taken down. Tom Bailey's still active, but um, alas, he is taken down. That's a team wipe. Yeah, Team Muggy now in firm control of Alpha, and I feel as though uh, Team Perth are now going to have to try and push around the flank or the back. Um, yeah, you know, I'm once that sort of scenario happens, you, you can't push from the front. These guys are waiting already. Little Bill's got yeah, little Bill's trying to do that. Bitch, my bosh. He's running. Watch red, mate. Move on to you. Ooh, good sniper shot, missing though by PB. And Lil Bill is quite good at finding the small little hidey holes to be a small He is, boy. I'm just following him round right now. He's right round the back of Team Muggy now. And Wild Fox, look where Wild Fox is, coming round the back. And Bill just taking out PB there, that's four kills on, there, five kills. That's Let's get it on, let's get it on and push that line. You see, now what needs to happen here is that the blue team need to push forward now. Because yeah. they've got the five spin kills, around, mate. you know. Spin around, they're behind you. The Wild best place on, to defend a com is in front of oh, the com. You know, not on it, not behind it, in front of it. You got, you got to be looking the right way there, Wild Fox. You yeah. Can't be facing towards the com, you yeah. got to know where the spawns are. That was this great play though by those lads. Great play. It was actually Foxy, not Little Bill, that was following right, right around the back, but uh, yeah, as you say, you got to be looking the right way. That factory oh, taken down. Tom Bailey making sure of that. Frontline no, coming Tom in to Bailey. take care of Tom. Oh, Frontline no. coming in for the disarm. No, Five tickets no, left. Trees. He, Come on, trees. Oh, no. He selected the wrong target there. And yeah, one more push we'll now. Well, Can they right. get this on? Two yeah, ticket push. Up, one ticket, and it's all over. Oh, that's it. All over. There you go. Team Muggy wins 30 to 3. Wow. Cool. Oh, oh, yeah. Wow, exactly. very strong Big performance sports. there. Can we uh, invite Mugiwara and Tom Bailey into the chat for the uh, post-match interview? It's... Looking at the scoreboard, yeah. I'll give them an invite. Burn trees and Mugiwara yet again with the highest kills. Yeah, I can imagine that uh, Muggy's going to be like a balloon, happy as Larry. Indeed. Yeah, really unfortunate, really. <clears throat> Do you want to keep the camera on the map, uh, Levi? I guess you're going to... It might not roll on. Just get It'll roll on to the next map, won't it? Well, well played by both teams. Obviously, uh, Team Maguire doing the deed there. Every single com on every single map attacking. Well, I, I, you know, again, this um, the in-house scrim was uh, sort of 
uh, semi-designed around bringing in um, newer players with you know sort of older players, more veteran uh, GW members, especially the yeah, mode itself, and not a lot of the new players you know play this mode or even in even in the hardcore setup. Um, yeah, so the classes. Yeah, the, 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 the sort of the, yeah, uh, you know, I think that was uh, a nice touch. How's it going, guys? Well done, hey, maybe. Buddy, Mara. Hey, how's well that tough played, game? Mate. Just had, had some horrible, 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 horrible moments, especially on onions. Yeah, I mean, uh, well, to be fair though, I mean, you know, you you showed a strong uh, um, a strong performance there and uh, Alex, some of your going. tactics um, yeah, you know, even even the commentators were a little bit sort of what is this guy doing and then all of a sudden you know <laughs> out of uh, out of a screwed up piece of paper came a swan you know um, <laughs> yeah, you sort of you sort of really that moment to... we fucked up a bit <laughs> <laughs> well I kind of feel like Team Muggy Bar was a if I'm honest. Um, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, I, I really know. Team, but... yeah, it was, uh, I see team it, Perp it was wasn't, bad. team Perp wasn't at their best, didn't have their best players, didn't have, and, uh, the and original team. I think with their original team, they would have had a better chance of taking more comms. Welcome more. Yeah. Tom Bailey, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Of, uh, team Perp, uh, unfortunately, well played, Tom Bailey. Naked tonight, yeah, but, well done. Uh, yeah, well Tom Bailey well managed games. to, Step up and uh, take the captaincy for um, for this match. So, so Tom, um, obviously uh, Team Perv lost that match. Um, before uh, Marky Wara gets to spout any crap to us all, um, <laughs> how did it how did it feel for you um, on the receiving end of, of that one? Um, so the first couple of rounds where you just felt that like Marky's individual performance was the difference. To be fair. I think he disarmed mm, yeah. Dark Ops like multiple times and then he was the one planning and doing the line. Um, but to be fair, like even on Annie M we felt we should have stopped them a few times and we didn't. We we kind of up and we got down to two tickets on one of the points and just yeah, some key players really was going their way. And yeah, after we that our heads had dropped a bit, you know, and mm. we just kind of steamed on us. Uh, oh, well, it was team morale well. was so important. Yeah, totally. Um, you know, our heads did drop a bit, um, yeah, just key plays really. Like every time we're getting on the comm and making a plant, um, I think multiple times we have both comms armed or we had we almost had a comm, and they just get there and same goes for their attacks. So not a lot we could do there to be honest. It felt tighter than the score reflected in some respects, but at the same time we always felt up against it. Um, that was real right, first ever hardcore yeah. game. So yeah, he's, yeah, he's yeah. Really mean, good in we did mention that. We did mention that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, from, yeah. from the outside, I mean, it, it kind of looked as though uh, the teams were a little bit unbalanced, which is something we wanted to try and avoid for the in-house. But obviously, due to uncontrollable factors, um, things sort of were the way they were. Uh, but um, with that said, uh, Team Purvis uh, slash uh, Tom Bailey, the you know the the efforts right up until the end were there. You know, it, it wasn't yeah, as if either team... Um, that that, that last team. round was absolutely... I was gobsmacked, man. The, the, you guys Manic. were pushing so hard. It was actually really hard. We got squad wrapped like three, four times, I think. Really, really good push. Yeah. Really, really good push. I think yeah, we just, stuck uh, together as well, like as, as one group. Yeah. yeah, we had some good players. We just liked a bit of experience of like hardening up on the point or and locking it down. Um, well, I mean, that, yeah. that last game, now, we had it, and then I've even got a flamer up on it, and I, I don't know how your team got it. Um, oh, yeah, that last, yeah, that was, was a as well. Cali was a massive loss for us. Like yeah, he's a strong yeah, soul player, and um, when he was gone, we just we expected to be whitewashed on the last map, not in a harsh way, but like oh, see, just, that last at uh, that point. Yeah, it was just like uh, the team was so imbalanced, like not imbalanced in terms of like the teams, but um, mm -hmm. trying to bring someone new in the thick of it, like straight, like Wild Fox fair play to him came into a game where you guys had your tails up and you were hammering us, you know. So even mm. for him, he's. Good yeah. effort from him. I think from yeah, a I think um, Kali was, was absolute was was a really good asset. Like honestly, his TNT and his spawn points yeah. and the way he just like camped around objectives. Yeah, he's just, white, white. He, he, he really, he really got on those. Yeah, he just. Yeah. Well, that was so good. Well, Annie, 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 Annie,
um, in the form of um, Cali and Muggy and Frontline, and I think the um, you know Muggy and Frontline uh, combination there is is really sort of showing because as I said, uh, you know during the match, um, you know uh, Frontline was recruited through through Rush. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that I met Muggy uh, through through Hardcore Rush. Um, so and, yeah. and I've played with with both of these guys, um, you know, for a long, long time. You're talking years. Uh, so um, <clears throat> there's I've got no doubt in my mind that uh, you know all three of those Muggy, Frontline, Cali, they've all played Rush with me. They all they've all uh, they all know the the very ins and out and how to manipulate that mode. Um, and, and to be fair, you know, Mugiwara, he dipped into that, that pot of knowledge and you saw those plays coming into effect. I don't think that the yeah. enemy team were incapable, um, you know, skill-wise, definitely um, a match skill-wise, but, but just the knowledge of the mode itself um, really, really showed there. Because um, yeah. you know, Muggy yeah, and Frontline just yeah. unstoppable force, and just. I mean, I said to my guys, they were their heads were pretty down, to be honest, and they were getting very upset. Um, I was myself, to be honest, but I said to them, look, you, we're up against Muggy and Frontline, probably the best possible combo for this tournament. Yeah. Uh, they're two That's extremely right, experienced right. Um, rush players, and the fact they're in the same squad, you know, you know, Frontline, Frontline's as a squad leader in himself. It's like they got two of them that they can fall back on. And even Battery yeah. coming in a support, he's a dedicated support player in our That's what I was uh, competitive team, you know. So even up against him, he's very strong. Alex is a, was an SK player for a long time, you know. So I just feel like the depth they had was a little bit more than what we had to offer today. And just mm -hmm. a few of those gunfights were going our way more. But even then, me, Burntree's Cali, um, Rio, we, you know, even Bill actually is a very good uh, scout. Oh, Bill had some, some -wise, we great shots, really yeah. Great, you know? Just it was yeah. the, the cons that were the difference between the teams. You know? Yeah, definitely. Uh, from the top down, guys. Honestly, yeah, you were so so close at each time, especially in army. <laughs> yeah, it was from that, it I really mean, was. Yeah. It's a shame, and the points I mean, don't. Just, the points don't reflect it's it. Yeah, I mean, it's it was hard. a very tough game in the end. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, yeah, I just can't wait. <laughs> Oh, sorry. I just can't wait for the slide to be nerfed because <laughs> Muggy, man, <laughs> you're, sliding, <laughs> you're just going through a clip of that. the slide getting, a few times. Yeah, like eight health, ten health every time, and we're just like, what are we meant to do? We can't get that extra wow. bullet on. You know? Just slot him already. <laughs> no, once, but one once, of them was once there. Once patched, it's the end of me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they can only hope, I reckon, Muggy. Um, <laughs> but yeah, but one of the things that I noticed was uh, on Argon Forest when you go around to uh, one of the, you skipped straight past Alpha. Yeah, Com, skipped you went Alpha. Yeah, to B. yeah, uh, that was a really good last, player. You know, it, last... left, it left me wondering for a second, but uh, mm. yeah, go on. The last match that we played against uh, Team Mong, we found it extremely difficult. And we didn't manage to take Bravo Com, so we ditched Alpha, went to, uh, to yeah. Bravo first. And, yeah, yeah, yeah I think if I remember rightly, and and again, you know, this this is Muggy drawing on, you know, uh, drawing on his um, rush experience here because uh, in the uh, BHCA tournament, um, I think in we were only stopped um, on one or two rounds rounds within the entire tournament. Um, and that was one of them, Bravo Com on Argon, that exact same Com. Um, yeah. So I think you know Muggy sort of realised uh, you know I've been st I've been stopped here too many times before, so this time you know this time we're going to get this one and uh, you know it, it it was a great bit of play. The com even the commentators yeah. weren't too sure what was what was going on no, here, I'm... but then but then it all just came into play and all of a sudden. Um, you know, Team Mugiwara are all over Alpha uh, or yeah, Bravo, well. whichever one was in the bunker there on that set. Um, and I think, you know, people will learn from that, you know, and it, it, and it is kind of all about uh, in the rush, you know, routine, set plays. Um, it doesn't necessarily matter where you're coming from or, you know, <clears throat> which direction this that and the other if that com is the more difficult com to get then that's our priority let's get yeah, that one 
uh, secure it, yeah, and then we may have an easier time on this one because once we once you take uh, the weaker com, you know, you are definitely going to concentrate the enemy around the the, the final com, you know, between A and B. So you really do have to prioritize, you know, which is the harder com to get if it stood alone. Um, and in that case, then you need to make your play for for the harder com, get that down, and we have a better chance, you know, on on the weaker com. And that showed, you know, the 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 positioning, the pushing forward, you know, taking a com and not sitting on the com, just having one watching it, people pushing forward again. You know, you won't catch um, Mugiwara or Frontlines um, camping. <laughs> the guys, they can't stay yeah. still. they got ants in their pants. They're fidgets, you know. They they want to move. They're constantly on the hunt. They're hunters. Um, so it, once they've got the come on, they're not going to sit there and watch it per se. Although we did see, you know, a little bit of play in the GW Higher game from Mugiwara camping something, but that was more sort of necessity. But otherwise, these guys are on the move. Um, and, and they knew exactly what they had to do. And, and that showed, the experience showed. It was a great match. It was a great game. Can um, I just, um, I'm just going to update every uh, the viewers on the leaderboard. We'll get a nice live update. Um, oh, okay, yeah. First place, we have Team Muggy with a very, very strong 53 points overall now. And they are uh, they're steaming ahead in the lead here. Second place, uh, and considering the game, we have Team Perv with 14 points, um, which is not bad. They're still in a good positioning, uh, but we still have another match to play in the standings. Not far behind in third place is Team Marmots with 11 points. Uh, and then in last place, we have Team Carrot with 7 uh, and this essentially means the next game between Team Carrot and Marmot could potentially be a fight for second place. Um, it's, it's a head by God, that's... Uh, and, or it could be it could be a stalemate, and you'd be surprised. Uh, you, the the can if the uh, comms are stopped right at the first set for both teams, um, Team Perv might be able to hang on to. Team Perv might position. be able to take it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, um, so yeah, we've got a couple more games for you, and uh, I think for all our viewers, just make sure you keep tuning in to the uh, Guerrilla Warfare Battlefield One YouTube channel. We have lots of playlists. We've recently had uh, some cl uh, clip submissions from all our players, and uh, you'll be able to find various playlists of Battlefield Four, Dark Souls, and various other games um, on there. And make sure you keep stay tuned for the next uh, next few matches. Uh, and of course, with that being said, uh, anybody looking for a friendly gaming community, then uh, be sure to hit us up. And uh, you know, GW is an open community, so we're not uh, an elite um, set of guys. Uh, we're just a, a gang of mates that want to play games. So um, if you want to be a part of that, then you know you're more than free to uh, apply to any one of our um, gatherings, groups, platoons, clans, etc. Um, come along and uh, enjoy some good camaraderie with uh, some you of the guys. Find, uh, you can find our Discord link in the uh, in the YouTube channel description. Uh, come on over, uh, send any of the admins a message, and uh, we'll get you hooked up and we'll get you underway in GW. Uh, I think maybe Levi, if we leave the post-match interview short and sweet there, and we uh, maybe leave the stream for today, and we can uh, continue a post-match discussion uh, away from the away from the camera. Okay, so. Um... Today's uh, video was brought to you by uh, Levi King Warrior on cam. We had Benson Fella on commentary, backed up by Harvey Tyler, and of course the intro, strong as ever, by uh, Carol 007. Team Muggy, uh, <clears throat> obviously Muggy Wara, and uh, Team Perv, backed up by uh, Captain C Tom Bailey, as unfortunately Perv couldn't make it tonight. But uh, thank you for tuning in and uh, tune in next time. Thank you very much. Good night.